guys hello hello welcome back to another college week in my life i'm currently making coffee don't mind me i love this little guy it's called a keep cup i think coffee boom love it <laughs> i'll link it down below it is a beautiful monday i slept in a little bit this morning was supposed to go to a spin class but decided to press that snooze alarm and just keep sleeping because my body, I could just tell needed it. And my, the rest of my day would be ruined if I just didn't get that sleep. So I slept until 10.41, making a little decaf coffee because I think I'm gonna need a real coffee later. Anyways, I am about to head out to Tribe Hair Co. here in Athens, Georgia. If you guys didn't know, I'm a senior here at UGA, about to graduate. Really can't talk about it right now because I'm really sad. <laughs> yeah, I got hair extensions and I'm loving them. I got them just to like see if I enjoyed it and I really, really, really like them. So I'm headed to my first maintenance appointment, which basically means that I'm going to untie my extensions and bump them up because obviously your hair grows. Oh baby, look at that. She said the maintenance doesn't take that long. It's probably like 45 minutes I'll be there. I love my girl Candace. If you live in Athens, go to Candace for all of your hair needs, extensions, color, whatever it is. She's awesome. I think I'm gonna see what my hair looks like without the extensions for the first time since February, I think is when I got them. So that'll be really interesting. Here's my little outfit. It's literally 70 degrees outside today. It's been so cold. The high is 79. I wanna go to the pool low key, but it's a school day, so no. Dress is from Revolve, it's LPA. If it's still available, I'll link it down below. Bag is Princess Polly. I will definitely link this below for you guys. It's so cute. Green is the color of the season, man. Green and orange are like it for me right now. Little Nike Air Force Ones moment. Ponytail is so bad, but that's okay because we're about to get it all fixed. I feel like I'm in total spring vibes right now. I didn't know she was also gonna style my hair, so thanks so much, Candace. Um, it was just not really cute to see my hair without extensions. Like, it didn't damage my hair at all. It felt still really great, but, um, you know, obviously, my hair was just a lot shorter, so it hasn't really grown, unfortunately, so I might start taking, like, collagen peptides again or something just to kind of do that because I was talking to her about it and, and I'm trying to figure out if I want to have my extensions on over the summer because I'm going to be home in the summer and when I'm home I like to like jump in the pool and just be carefree and like wash my hair all the time because I'm showering or because I'm spinning and swimming so I'm trying to figure that out but she said the extensions are mine and she's going to help me find someone in New York City that she trusts and can do my hair there so but um yeah she just basically bumped up my extensions tightened them up so they're right here whereas before they were like probably like right here and yeah that was a quick appointment i just placed an order at maypole um they have like bowls they do like base protein veggie kind of that vibe so i'm gonna grab that for lunch because delina and i need to get groceries later thank you yummy it's lunchtime. oh my goodness i'm so happy i did this it's so funny my hair is actually a little bit shorter now because obviously it grew as I as my hair grew the extensions grew which is kind of funny so now it's it's like I got a haircut I'm about to be on the bottled blonde podcast she asked me to be a guest on her show and I finally have some time to be on other people's podcasts so I was like let's do it so I'm about to hop on and I don't know what we're talking about but I'm an open book I'm here to go so that's gonna be really really fun all right you guys know the drill Monday seem to just be my podcast days um, I'm so excited to meet Christina a little light on let's go so excited to chat with you because i have wanted to do youtube forever and i remember watching your videos years ago and so hi guys so just finished recording it was amazing it's now 79 degrees outside how insane um delaney and i are gonna go grocery shopping i've switched into my little outdoor voices exercise dress i love this it's so easy and comfortable i just didn't feel like going to kroger in my little like i don't know spring dress someone's calling me but they're just gonna have to wait um i literally am loving the tote life wearing this strike magazine tote this is the magazine that i work with here on campus and i love repping them with a little tote nike air force ones um this mask is from kitsch and yeah we're just gonna get some groceries I guess we'll plan our meals on the way over as we always do and buy ingredients based off that. Like she buys half the ingredients and I buy the other half. Or like she'll buy ingredients for one meal, me the other. You guys get it. Um, so yeah, I don't really have a plan, but I just know I need groceries. Like I literally don't even have bread. We don't have any eggs. We are fresh out. So we're gonna get our life together. I'm probably gonna get a coffee, a caffeinated one this time. So let's do it. 
All right, guys, we just got to Kroger. I think I'm literally gonna get a coffee. They have a Starbucks in the Kroger. Um, and we planned our meals. We're doing three meals this week. We're doing chicken piccata, steak and potatoes with broccoli, and uh, rotisserie chicken with zucchini. We're big on rotisserie chicken people, which I come to find out some of you despise rotisserie chicken. I find it to be quite delicious. Trying the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso thing, we'll see. How fun is that? Okay guys, just got back, waiting on Delaney. Um, we were like in two separate lines. I got the oat milk ice shaken brown sugar thing. I just got a tall in case I didn't like it. It was $5 for this, $5. It's okay, I probably won't get it again. It's just not my favorite. Hello! And uh, it just tastes very fall to me and it's just so, I'm in like summer mode. So I don't know. I hope I get caffeinated from it because it's espresso. It's not iced coffee obviously, but the idea is really cool and they like put something on the top. It's, it's okay. I will never not love this grocery cart. All right, you guys, it's grocery haul time. Um, kind of just random. I just got stuff for our meals and then other stuff here. We've got eggs and a rotisserie chicken. I'm just not gonna show you guys. All right, I got some fun new things. Well, these aren't new, but I got um, everything bagels. They're pre-sliced, very thankful for that. I got Texas Pete hot sauce. The Cholula stuff's not bad, but I really just love Texas Pete. Trying two new pastas. Um, Bonza, which is chickpea pasta, but these are um, bow ties. Very exciting. And then I'm also trying this green lentil penne, just to make me feel better about my pasta intake. Lots of canned goods. It got some more peas, but on a pea kick. <laughs> that sounds funny. Two cans of black beans. I love black beans and rice. This is not focusing. Focus, focus, focus. Two cans of black beans. And then I just got two kombuchas because I still have three in the fridge right now. Who is she? I got a thing of creamy vodka sauce because I'm just, that would be good with like the bonza bow ties. It's typically the bread that I get from Kroger. We don't go to Trader Joe's. This is the um, whole wheat sugar-free wide pan bread. Got more tortillas. I love making these in the morning or maybe I'll make like rice and beans and pop them in a tortilla. Got chicken breast because we're making chicken piccata. Oh my gosh, my sushi got ruined. I just got a thing of California rolls. It's a great little lunch. Um, oh my gosh, though. For yellow rice, for yellow rice and black beans. And lastly, we got zucchini and an onion because tonight's dinner we're gonna do rotisserie chicken with rice and, um, <laughs> this is just not focused on me, with rice and zucchini and onion. Thanks for watching, gonna go put it all away. Oh, and I also got tap shoe. Um, local Athens Brewery, the Athens, or the Athena Paradiso from Creature Comforts. It's like a red sour beer and it's so good. Um, I love it, it's been my drink of choice lately. Or the Southern Brewing Company Red and Black, but they didn't have that, so. Refilling our little liquid IV jar. It's not little, it's quite big. Um, cause when I got all of these, I didn't even have enough room to put them all in, but big liquid IV people over here, whenever Ryan's here, he definitely steals some, so. Which I respect, it's awesome. Put on some makeup, because Brooke and I are gonna film, and I was filming an outfit for my Outfits of the Week video. If you guys um, didn't see my last one, you should. I'm really enjoying filming these, so I'm filming another Outfits of the Week video this week. That'll probably be up next week. But it's 5.57, and I'm just now doing my doing well daily for the day. This is my planner that I designed. I love it. It has one whole day on each spread and I always like to wait and see what the quote of the day is on my vlog. So I've got it all ready, but I just haven't looked at what it is. All right. Everything is a choice. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. I curated literally all these quotes. It's just like a fun little surprise. I'm actually going to do this later, like tonight before I go to bed. This is like the more emotional, happy, inspirational page where you write your affirmations, things you're thankful for, all that. Trace the quote. I love doing this. But um, I kind of need to get down to business. So we're going to get on to the get after the day page. I'm going to write down my to-do stuff for school and work. 
um, for today. And this will probably be the one I use for tomorrow too since it's so late in the day. Um, but yeah, I just have like a ton of stuff and I keep like be like, okay, you need to write that down and I and I keep not so now I finally open the planner and we're gonna we're gonna get to work. Also, on another note, is anyone dying from pollen right now? Because I am literally I walk outside for five minutes. There's pollen covered on my phone. It's so gross. My eyes are so watery constantly. But it's okay. All right, all right, all right. It's time for some dinner. It's rotisserie chicken night. So we've got the rotisserie chicken. Then we started boiling the water. And we're going to cook um, zucchini and onions as well. So it'll be a, a yummy little situation here. Woo! That's the best thing ever. Got onions going, zucchini cooking. We just really could just cook it with olive oil. It does a great job. Mmm. Yeah. Bone appetit, baby. All right, you guys, we just had dinner. It's time. Brooke and I are going to record another juicy episode where we drink and just talk about things that we haven't always talked about or just some funny topics. We're talking about like puberty, the icks, fake ID stories. Yeah, it's good. So check out Gals in the Go podcast. By the time this is up, that episode will already be up. So I'm actually going to start the episode by taking a shot of Fireball. If you know, you know, I'm chasing this shot with carrots. I'm not taking it yet. I'm going to do it when we record. But I'm just prepping. And then my drink of choice during is going to be an Athena Paradiso. This is the little uh, lineup for tonight's episode. <laughs> Stand by recording. I'm literally so excited. Okay. Correct. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to Gals on the Go podcast. I'm Danielle. <gasps> what, uh, what was that sound? <laughs> Cheers. Ooh. Good morning. It's Tuesday. I'm eating an apple after my little breakfast. Sunny day, chilling here with the roomie, and uh, it's gonna be a good day. All right, you guys. Usually, you know, I start the day off with decaf coffee, but I think today is a real coffee morning. Let's see. Yeah. Got my coffee. Just simply not ready to start doing schoolwork yet. Last night, Ryan came over, and we were watching Shit's Creek, and I kind of fell asleep. So. I don't really remember, oh, I just turned it off. I don't remember the last episode, so I'm not watching ahead of him. I simply just need to catch up. I always love that because then I get to rewatch it. You guys, I have no business sitting on this couch right now. We watched episodes of Shit's Creek. I, it was one of the funniest ones, so I'm really glad I rewatched that. Then I went on TikTok, started dying laughing. I simply have homework that I need to be doing. So I guess we'll get up and take a shower and wake up and do some homework class at 1245 it's a beautiful day oh my gosh guys it's so dark in here you can't even tell because the camera brings in light i left it so dark oh i should have made my bed i hate coming in when my room's a mess Ooh, it's so tempting to just hop right back there nope we're not gonna do it Ooh. that's rough it's very the aftermath from last night's podcast so funny just showered, put on this little set from White Fox Boutique. I love it. Probably won't actually work out today, but it's okay. I crack myself up. I sat down for like a minute to just send one email and now I'm like I'm gonna link all of my current favorite clothing items on my Instagram stories I mean I love doing stuff like that for you guys and it's really cool to see what people are more interested in like who, who swipes up on the jeans who swipes on the tops the dress I don't know I just really enjoy it not who but like how many people are like interested in one thing I'm like oh y'all like my style okay so yeah definitely go follow me on Instagram if you haven't followed me already at Danielle Carolyn I do lots of fashion stuff on there 
I've got class in five minutes and I've got all kinds of homework. I can't lie, I'm definitely someone that does homework during class, but I'm doing the homework for this class during this class, so I feel like that's okay. I will still pay attention, I'm just being real. Um, it's just nice because I'm like in school mode, so if I'm like kind of listening and doing the homework at the same time, like it just helps me. Does anyone else do this? Also, I still need to edit, so yeah. And I'm also getting hungry for lunch. These are just the things I'm thinking right now. Here I am at my desk. What's new? Was gonna go for a walk to get a smoothie, but the time has gotten away from me and I can't go get a smoothie in five minutes, so. Is that a pimple? What is that? Oh, what the? I just decided to make a full meal for lunch, rice, black beans, and maybe some green beans. But I have to get on class. In this class, you can only get attendance if you have your camera on. But like, this is during lunchtime and I've seen other people eat lunch. I ate lunch during it last week. So, here we are. <laughs> My whole class is watching me do this right now. Voila. All right, you guys, I'm gonna head for a little walk considering I haven't stepped outside yet today. Oh, pimple season. Um, here's my little fit. I'm filming an outfits of the week video for you guys So stay tuned for that, but this top can we talk about it like oh, So flattering both from white fox. Um, but yeah, I'm craving just a nice refreshing smoothie You're gonna stock up on some ginger shots because I haven't purchased those in a while It is a gorgeous day outside Hi guys, so we're about to head out. We're going to Atlanta for the evening. We're going to this restaurant called Il Localino um, because it's our friend McKenna's birthday and she keeps talking to us about how she really wants to try the restaurant. Like, guys, can we make the trip? Can we drive? And we're all just gonna like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. So today's her, or yesterday was her birthday technically and we're surprising her. We're like, just be ready at five. We're getting in the car and we're taking her to Il Localino. It's an Italian restaurant in Atlanta and I'm so excited. We're driving back tonight too. I'm bringing my computer because I have to edit. Oh, I have to take this out of my hair. But um, this is the fit for tonight. Um, you guys have seen this outfit before. I'm just obsessed with it and I can't get over it. Um, I'll link both things down below. Top and bottom are from Misguided. And I'm wearing these intense shoes. So I'm so excited that it's gonna be fun. All right guys, so. Funny, funny story. Um, this is one car, we have another car, people headed there and we're getting in the car and I'm just looking at the directions and immediately it says close. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Like that must be, you know, you know, from COVID, like they just forgot to change it, that they're open. Um, turns out they are indeed like semi-permanently closed right now for whatever reason. And I checked my email and they had emailed me on Sunday saying my reservation was canceled. That is my oversight. I feel terrible about it. Um, but poor McKenna, she didn't even know we were gonna go and now we can't go. So now we're like waiting to see what we should do. We kind of also want to go to Atlanta, like Pont City Market. It's so beautiful. It's like this really, it's kind of like an upscale food court. They also do have restaurants where you can like get seated and there's the roof with the carnival games and it's so beautiful. Honestly, it'll be like beautiful weather. Um, so we're thinking that, but we were like, maybe we should include McKenna on this. So when our other friend picks her up, she's gonna call us and we're gonna discuss. It's just like, of course this happens. Like we wanted to make her so happy and she doesn't ask for much. Like she's the most selfless of all of our friends. And like, we just, I feel so bad. Cause last year COVID birthday, oh poor thing. But it's okay. Carbonara. We're going for a nice walk on the Beltline. This literally reminds me of the Chelsea Highline in New York. It's so crazy. This goes like all the way around. Like it's miles long. This is the line of belts, Madeline. <laughs> Katie was like, "How long of a walk are we going?" Oh, Skyline! Yay! This is so pretty. Going to cook out for a milky shake. <laughs> My milkshake bring the boys to the yard. Oh my gosh, when could this be? Stop it right now. 
Wow, baby, I miss you. I look like a mess. <laughs> Voila. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. I feel like the week is honestly flying by. Um, I'm headed to in-person class. I love it. It's like my one class a week that I go to in person. It's my retail planning and buying class. So I'm just getting my tote bag all together. I'm wearing this again. I, I think I'm going to have to buy more colors. I'll link it down below for you guys. This is the Outdoor Voices exercise dress. A lot of girls on campus have it here. I don't know. Maybe it's the UGA thing. I don't really know. But and there's like little attached spandex underneath. There's like this bright red one. How fun. Like for summer. It's just it's so easy and it's like so nice outside. Um, so I already have my calculator, notebook, sunglasses, AirPods. I need to fill this guy up. Um, my computer, which I'm going to charge like a couple seconds longer because I watched YouTube like this whole morning and it got me so excited to live in New York City, you guys. Like I watched like Emma Chamberlain's Alone in New York vlog and some New York house tour or apartment tour. I don't know. I just got in the mood. So yeah, this is my outfit. I'm wearing my Adidas. These are called like Falcon sneakers or something. It's almost 70 degrees out. It's amazing. So yeah, let's go to class. We're going to drive though. We're going to drive. What a pretty day on campus. The flowers. I always wished I would work here. I never come to this quad. This is Meyer's quad. Very college -y. Having a little pool afternoon. The UV is seven, so me and Delaney are like, let's go. First pool day of the year. I'm so happy. Summer. Who else loves those post pool showers? I feel like my face is still very light, but um, I mean, I feel like I got some color. Let's see. Oh. A little line, a little line. Okay guys, this is so weird, but I thought I'd share this with you guys because maybe someone else will get an inspiration from it. So I just took a shower. So I'm taking photos later at the Botanical Gardens at UGA. I'm so excited for my friend Tessa's clothing company. She literally designs the clothing. She's so talented. Anyways, my hair is pretty good. Like it doesn't need to be washed. However, my front pieces always get like kind of gross and oily and greasy. So my hairstylist Candace told me, Next time you take a shower with your shower cap, leave the front pieces out and shampoo them, let them get wet, and then I'm just gonna re-blow dry them and style them. And it was kind of weird showering and like having these two front pieces out, but I'll let you guys know how this goes. But that might be my new life hack because I don't have to wash my hair very often with this. Also, I have like this like gross pimple on my nose and I keep picking at it, so it's red, sorry. But yeah, so I'm just gonna use my Dyson Air app and restyle it because it's basically fresh hair. So I know it sounds really weird, but I think it's cool. Just showered, put my Outdoor Voices dress back on. I just make a little lunch. I'm gonna have some rice and beans and add some of the leftover chicken with it. I'm gonna do some work out here because I'm, I don't know, I just don't feel like being in my room right now. And yeah, well, we'll see how this tastes, you guys. I added hot sauce to the chicken because it was dry. Hair roller in, what's new? And now we do homework. You guys, I'm so pumped. I showed you the aviator sunglasses. I've been posting in them on Instagram and stuff that I got from Covery. And they reached out and they were like, oh my gosh, thanks so much for supporting. Can we send you a pair of blue light glasses? And you guys know I love them. So let's see what these look like. So cute. Woo! So cute. I'm gonna be so hipster trendy. Well, I look so bad right now with this situation, but let's see what they look like. Ooh, I like a little coffee shop moment. They're very light, how nice. Ready, I'm headed to the UGA Botanical Gardens. I'm so excited. I don't know why I'm choosing to go to a garden when I like I'm suffering of major allergies right now But I just know the garden's gonna be so gorgeous and it's on my list of places to go before I graduate I went to the UJ Botanical Gardens last year and fell in love So my friend Tessa is a fashion designer I would call her and we've had fashion merchandising classes together And she reached out to me and asked if I would model in one of her new dresses that she designed It's absolutely gorgeous I can't wait to show you guys and I was like hey let's do it at the Botanical Gardens It'll be so fun majestic fairy vibes Um so yeah, that's what we're gonna go do. I'm um, gonna meet up with her and take a couple of photos. Um, so yeah, this is just what I'm wearing on the way there. This little two-piece set from White Fox. 
Um, and I'm bringing these shoes, these bad boys. Oh. Um, I'm moving to New York City. Oh, jealous. Just got back and that was such a boost of serotonin, you guys. Like just the flowers and talking to Tessa about literally creating this company on her own. So go check it out, I'll have it linked down below. It's chicken piccata night! Ooh. It smells amazing in here. Oh my gosh, you really did it. You did yeah, the I dang did thing. All the chicken. Uh, and there's jazz. Oh my gosh. Is that the sauce? Yeah. No, I I well, kind of part of it. Lemon's going yeah. now. Ooh. I feel like I always happen to like not be around on chicken piccata night, so I don't know how to make it ever. <laughs> I wish you were all here right now, honestly, so we could treat you all to this amazingness that it oh, that is chicken piccata. Oh my gosh! All right, you guys. So dinner has been had. Y'all know the vibes. The late night record, late night. We're recording at eight. We're recording with Dr. Perkins. I'm so excited for this episode. I came up with a ton of questions that I have, that some of my friends have, that some of y'all have about women's health, whether it's like UTIs or STD. I mean, like we're talking everything today, and I'm really, really, really excited. So I'm gonna drink my little huzzas. I like to drink these when I record. We're just recording, and then Ryan's gonna come over later, and we're gonna hang out, watch Shit's Creek, because I literally am craving it, but I literally can't watch it unless he's here, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, see you guys later. Um, oh my gosh, well thank you so much. So I don't know if you got a chance to kind of look at some of the topics we had in mind. Good morning everybody. Brooke and I are recording the intro to our episode of Gals on the Go. Um, last night's interview went so amazing with Dr. P. It was so funny, like it was so informational, but she made it so entertaining and just made great examples like about why you don't need to do this, but you should do this. And any women should listen to this episode. It's truly amazing. So Brooke and I are about to record. And then we've got a big, uh, I like to call these days girl boss days because it really fuels me. I just have a lot to do and I need to kind of like stay in the zone. Um, I have a test tomorrow morning that I need to really just grind on studying. I need to work on my quarterly taxes, at least get those started. I don't, it doesn't take me that long. I do my estimated taxes quarterly so I don't have to like do one big one at the end. Like I already submitted like my tax return or whatever and it was just so nice because I didn't owe any more money because I, you know, did it throughout the year which something i don't know i really love doing that i have to edit a video my outfits of the week that i filmed this week which was really fun and then i have to do these like drawings for my brand management class like design sketches i was like i'm not a design major why am i doing this but so that'll be very interesting um i have to do some discussion posts and other assignment <laughs> just like a lot of homework oh my gosh and i totally have another quiz to run my retail planning and buying class <laughs> I love being done with my work on Thursdays and that's just not gonna be the case today or this week should I say so lots to be done and I'm also getting my nails done later um we're going to this place called nail daddy which is like the place to get your nails done if you want like a design so I feel like I should but my nails are so short right now so if I got a design I have to get acrylics or tips or whatever and I just oh I don't know what to do just lots running through my head um already caffeinated um drinking a huzzah yeah, and I have this dry skin patch on my nose. It's gross. Um, so that's where we're at. And um, it's okay. I made myself a lovely bagel sandwich. Y'all already know what time it is. It's laundry day. Just showered, popped this little set on, put my stuff in the laundry. Now it is time to make my bed. Um, like I said, today's big, just get work done kind of day. I feel like in my vlog this week, I've just looked like absolute trash, but like, you know, it's real. Today is a instructional break day here at UGA, which means it's a mental health day. We can just take the day. No, I have so much homework to do, so much stuff, so I don't know what they're talking about. Um, but I wish, <laughs> I wish I could use it as a mental health day using the class time I'd normally be in to just get my work done. All right, we're lighting a new candle. This one's from Target. It's called Noir. It's like vetiver vibes, kind of like a man scent. I'm excited, updates to come. Right, we're getting the vibes going, doing a little lounge soft house, candle going, things to do on my planner, let's go. All right, 
I'm just finished editing. I popped on the sweatshirt. I got cold. It says, don't quit your daydream. It's from Hangover Hoodies. I'm getting hungry. It's time for lunch. I may have some leftover piccata for lunch. Ooh. Warm up first. I don't even know why I turned the camera Vibing on. Vibing out here. I am Hello, everybody. Do we like the pigtails? I know the hair ties are just not it, but I don't have any clear ones, and I wanted them to match, so that's where we're at. Why do I sound like I'm talking like Alexis Rose from Shit's Creek? I put this set back on because I wanted to be more muted rather than colorful because it's like a muted kind of day. It's foggy out. Time for some self-care. I've been grinding for the last few hours. Um, we are going to get our nails done. I'm going to this place called Nail Daddy here in Athens and you literally have to like DM them on Instagram to get an appointment. It's so interesting, but they're so good at designs. So I'm thinking to do, I'll show you guys a picture. I've been wanting to do these nails for a while and I think it's finally time. I'm gonna go for a little yin yang action. I like how there's one just plain color. I think I'm gonna do that, question mark. I don't really know. And then I always do gel on my toes. So I'm excited. I'm sure it's really, really nice in this place. And uh, I'll see if I can get a little vlog clip for you guys. But yeah, until then, I'll see you guys at the nail salon or after or something. Guys, two and a half hours later, here we are. I did Manny and Petty. Literally nailed daddy himself, did my nails, and I had no idea. So the end, he did such a great job. I'm so happy we went. We did acrylics. So amazing. Tonight we've got steak tips and broccoli and rice. Uh, woo! I love cooking veggies with this pan, you guys, because then I put the little top on and it just steams the broccoli. We literally just cook it with olive oil, added some onions. It's so amazing. I'm so excited. So we're just gonna pop this guy on. All right, dinner is served. Added some teriyaki sauce. Drinking a huzzah. Yay! <laughs> so I'm studying right now for my test that I have in the morning, but um, I also just went and got a spray tan. But I'm doing a poll right now on my Instagram story because I talked about getting platform Crocs on the podcast yesterday and I didn't think much of it. I was saying how Crocs are coming back and I was like, oh gosh, I don't think I'm gonna do it. And I was like, oh, but if there was a platform version, like maybe I would. Sure enough, all of a sudden all this stuff comes out today about platform Crocs being a thing. I'm getting all these DMs and I'm like, this might be a thing. So I did a little poll and it's almost half and half. It's a little bit of more people saying no, but like, I already purchased a pair, don't tell anybody. Also, I wanna tell you guys about my nail experience today. So I did these, the yin yangs. I'm so happy had no idea that Nail Daddy himself was doing my nails. He like didn't say anything. And then at the end, he's like, I'm Nail Daddy. And me and my friend Claire were like, oh my God. He was so cool, so nice. And he literally, um, it's so intense. He has you like model. He was like, this is my favorite design I've done all day. I was like, I mean, he probably says that to everyone, but I felt special. There's this video she took of me. Like he had me like place my hands on this like he had a rug underneath like a sherpa rug and then my hands i had to hold this like crystal thing and he took like photos and videos like he's intense like the nail daddy instagram is no joke like i was honestly honored that nail daddy himself did my nails and i'll definitely go back for all of my nail art needs this is his instagram so hopefully my nails will be up there very soon um but yeah, so I'm just studying, and that's just really it. Delaney and I might watch an episode of Ginny and Georgia later, but for now, we're just working. But yeah, that's what's up. You guys, Steph just sent over the full gallery from my shoot with Ryan, and then obviously I did some on my own. Oh my gosh, I literally just want to post all these right now. This is so crazy. Head over to my Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn. It's time for laundry. This is definitely real coffee. Cheers, see you guys after my test. I'm done. I did really well, I'm excited. Coffee's almost done. I'm reading, I love the skim. It gives you kind of just like your day-to-day -day news, just kind of shortened up, summarized, we love that. You guys, I've had the best morning. I got back in bed, my test went well, and I'm editing this coming Sunday's Week in My Life vlog that you guys are currently watching, but I started editing it. I put on my cityscapes, my New York City cityscapes, the sound from it just makes me so happy. Editing puts me in a good mood, but now it's time for breakfast. Hey. 
back in bed eating my apple gonna finish editing and then get to some school work currently charging my ipad i'm gonna use that to complete this design um assignment that i have for my um, fashion brand management class i need to shower my spray hand i'm well aware but i'm getting a little stressed and i just need to kind of sit down and get all my homework done and also upload this video so i'm gonna end the vlog here Please subscribe if you are new here or you're not subscribed already so you're alerted every time I post a new video, which is Wednesday and Sunday. I love you guys so much. I can't believe I only have like a month left of these college week in my life vlogs. So, so crazy. But that just means there's going to be new week in my life vlogs at home and then in New York City end of summer, early fall. So, yeah. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.